Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to integrate sine of 7x times sine of 3x. For this integration, we are going to utilize some trigonometric identities. Our first group of formulas that I would like to introduce is product to sum and difference formula. That's going to be our integration here because sine a times sine b, like in line 1 here. Our second group formulas are sum to product formulas. And our third group is sum and difference formulas itself. I want to give one example here and go back to our integral. Let's say you have sine of 75. You can break 75 into 30 plus 45. So sine of 30 plus 45 will be as in line 1 here. So in our case, 30 is our alpha and 45 is our beta. So sine of 30 times cosine of 45 plus cosine of 30 times sine of 45. Now let's go back to our integral. Here we have sine a times sine b. In our case, a is 7x and b is 3x. So we're going to apply the first formula here. So 1 half times cosine of a minus b minus cosine of a plus b. We can pull 1 half in front of integral sign and write cosine of 7x minus 3x minus cosine of 7x plus 3x the x using the first formula here. Now we can separate the integrals. So 1 half integral of cosine of 7x minus 3x is 4x the x minus integral of cosine of 7x plus 3x is 10x Now we can integrate each of them one by one. Integral of cosine and sine is like this. Integral of sine ax kind of integral is negative 1 over a times cosine of ax. And integral of cosine ax is 1 over a times sine of ax. Or you can visually memorize using the unit circle. Positive cosine direction, positive sine direction, negative cosine direction, negative sine direction. If you go to counterclockwise, you get the integral of each trigonometric functions. This is the integral. If you go to clockwise, you obtain the derivative of each function. So in this case, integral of cosine is positive sine and integral of sine is negative cosine. And we have argument ax, so we have to multiply the integral by 1 over a. So in our case, we're going to integrate this. Let me copy that. So integral of cosine of 4x is 1 fourth times sine of 4x and integral of cosine of 10x is 1 over 10 times sine of 10x. We can distribute and simplify. 1 half times 1 fourth is 1 eighth and this is going to be 1 twentieth plus c. This is the answer. This time we're going to integrate sine of 7x times cosine of 3x. We're going to utilize product to sum and difference formulas. So this applies to sine a times cosine b. In our case a is 7x and b is 3x. So our integral turns into 1 half times this function. And we can pull 1 half in front of integral sign. So sine of a plus b. So sine of 7 plus 3x will be 10x. 
plus sine of a minus b will be sine of 7 minus 3x will be 4x. Now we can integrate separately. So 1 half times integral of sine is negative cosine times 1 over 10. So 1 over 10 negative cosine of 10x plus again integral of sine is negative cosine negative 1 fourth times cosine of 4x plus c. Now we can carefully distribute and simplify. So it will be negative 1 over 20 cosine of 10x minus 1 over 8 cosine of 4x plus c. So this is our answer. Let's integrate cosine of 2x times cosine of 4x. So here our a is 2x and our b is 4x. So our integral will turn into 1 half times cosine of a minus b plus cosine of a plus b. We can put 1 half in front of the integral sign and cosine of a minus b will be cosine of 4 minus 2 which is 2x plus cosine of 4 plus 2 6x. Here you can name 4xA and you can name 2xB not to get negative value here. Or it doesn't matter, cosine of negative alpha equals to cosine of alpha. So it doesn't matter. Now we can integrate separately. 1 half times integral of cosine is positive sine and 1 over a 1 over 2 times sine of 2x plus similarly this will be 1 over 6 times cosine of 6x we can distribute and simplify or you can leave it like that 1 fourth sine of 2x plus 1 twelfth cosine of 6x plus c. So this is the answer. Our last example is cosine 7x times sine of 4x regarding integrals requiring product to some difference formulas. Here our a is 7x and our b is 4x. Then our integral turns into 1 half times integral of sine of a plus b so sine of 11x minus sine of a minus b so it will be 3x 7 minus 4 now we can integrate 1 half times integral of sine is negative cosine so 1 over 11 times negative sine here cosine of 11x We have negative cosine here and negative sine here, so plus one third cosine of 3x. Now we can distribute and leave it like that. So let me multiply with positive first. So one sixth cosine of 3x minus. 1 over 22 cosine of 11x plus c. So this is the answer. Or you can leave it in this form. Thank you for watching.